Hey, hey, my crafty friends. Welcome to Ivy and Juke Creations. My name is Kim, and I'm so glad you decided to spend a few minutes with me today. Okay, right here, I've got a sign, a framed sign, that I made before I started my YouTube channel. If y'all would like a video on that, y'all let me know down in the comments, and I will try to get that going for y'all. But, um... It was the first one I've ever made, and it didn't turn out perfect, but I was proud of it. And um, But here, I'm painting it with uh, Rust-Oleum's white linen chalk paint, and I've got myself a mess going on here. I was trying to get the last little bit of paint out of my can, and I poured entirely too much water in it, and so I had myself a good mess. But I just painted the whole sign, the, the inside of it, the frame, the back of it, and I gave it two good coats. And there I'm just showing y'all the sign. All right. Now, this little um, container right there, I got it from the Dollar Tree. It's just a condiment bottle, two for a dollar. And I've got uh, Rust-Oleum's white linen chalk paint. And you see I've poured a nice thick coat right there. And um, I'm just smoothing it out. And I'm going to lay it on there thick. And you'll see why in just a minute. They also carry uh, these bottles on Amazon. They're called FIFO. That's elf I elf O, and it's where you can take your paint cans and pour your paint in those can squeeze bottles. And I was going to invest in some of those, but before I did, I had ran into these at the Dollar Tree one day, and I was like, let me try these first. And it's just as good to me, I guess. But um, as you, right here, you can see I'm just taking my paint, excess paint, and I'm poking it down in them little cracks too. And then I'm just smoothing my paint out. And then next, right here, this is IOD's paint inlay called Noel. And y'all, it is 12 by 16. It has eight sheets in it, I think. And um, some sheets have like th uh, two or three designs on it. And then some sheets will have just one design, like this one right here. And um, when you're painting your blank slate, you want to lay the paint down thick like you saw me do. And then you want to move kind of fast because you don't want the paint to dry. And then once you pick your design out, you lay it down in the wet paint. And then you take your brayer like you see me do here. And with a light hand, you want to rub over the entire piece of paper and make sure you're getting good contact down in that wet paint. And y'all, this is what I like about IOD. I'm gonna tell y'all, I'm not your girl who can think outside of the box. I'm not very creative like some of these women here on YouTube. They are awesome. And, um, but with IOD, all you need is a blank slate. They do all the work for you, because look at that. It's, I mean, it's gorgeous. But anyway, once you uh, take your brayer and rub o run over the paper, then you want to mist it with your water. And then I'm taking my sponge, and I'm just dabbing the excess water off and kind of like massaging it in that paper and continue soaking up the excess water. And when I finish doing that, I'm going to lay it to the side and let it dry for a few hours. And then I'm going to come back and show you the next step. We're going to mist it with water again. And as I was saying a while ago, there's like eight sheets in this pack. And if you do the math, that's roughly five to ten dollars per design so i mean this is a large sign y'all very large 
it's larger than 12 by 16 and you can get a good bit of money for that watch the magic right here now i'm pulling this piece of paper up and as you see it's leaving the design on my sign but it's also the design is still left on the paper which means i can still use this same design like approximately two more times so when i tell you that they're five to ten dollars a design it's even cheaper than that because you get to use that design several more times look at that detail y'all you don't have to be a artist beautiful and then i'm going to dry it and then um after i got through drying it i sprayed it with a, a clear coat spray sealer and then this is the vintage textures stamp from iron orchid designs and i'm using my stays on black ink and i'm just going around randomly using different sections of this stamp and um putting it you know on the on the sign and then i'll do it on the inside of the frame on the outside of the frame just here there and everywhere and it makes it look like the paint's old and crackled like the paint's been on there for years So there I just showed y'all Waverly's Color Fern, Waverly's Ink, and then Crimson on the plate right there. And I was asking y'all in y'all's opinion, what color should I painted this frame? The red, green, or black? Ultimately, I chose red. But y'all let me know in the comments what would y'all have painted the color, what, what would y'all have painted the frame? And then once I painted the frame and let it dry, I went back and sanded the whole thing and just made it look really old and vintage, like the sign has been around for a while. I let some of the white peek back through on the frame. And then I lightly sanded over the uh, Im image there on the trees and the words and stuff. And it turned out beautiful y'all see I love it I thank y'all so much for spending some time with me today and I hope y'all consider coming back and I hope y'all enjoyed the video and y'all have a very blessed week